but will not be consistent in competition with exactly. black trees. Joe so coming in a little high, a little long. Yeah, he's not really worried about that. But he'll he'll make a good stop. But he came in a little high. Oh shoot! Oh Lord have mercy! We've had a pop strike. We've had a pop strike. Okay. okay, so the good news is, everyone, obviously he is fine. We have to get the airplane back That's on its right. tail. And you see the ones behind him, Hal and Steve are coming. Hal and Steve will go into a holding pattern when we get this right. sorted out. Now, this happens more than you would imagine at these sorts of competitions. Now, the good news is it happens when the plane has almost zero energy in it. So they're going to let it down gently. They're going to let it down gently, and then they're going to push them off. Uh, Joe is done for the day. Yes, absolutely done for the day. After a prop strike, you need to do a lot of work to check the engine to make sure it's all good. That's exactly the right. The prop probably done. Probably so. Probably it looks so. like it may be bent. I mean, typically after this, you'd have to overhaul a prop if it was salvageable. If it was salvageable, I think he's running carbon fiber. So it's probably, probably it's, done. It's done. Yeah, they're Look at that teamwork, though, getting them off the field. Get them off the field. We had this fine bunch of volunteers out here who were making all this go. Going to do a quick once-over, make sure everything's looking good on the runway there. And then we're going to make sure that Joe is okay. Joe looks good. Uh, he does. You know, uh, Joe has seen a lot. So when you've got decades of experience in aviation like Joe does, um, then, you know, that's the kind of thing that, that he's, he's handled. He's so as we get ready to go here we're clearing that uh bummer real bummer